A Milwaukee sister duo just launched a new clothing brand, highlighting the importance of staying true to your roots. So News' Deanna Gutierrez joins us now. And Deanna, these sisters have a very ambitious goal. Yeah, Patrick Joyce, get this. So the sisters tell me that they want to become Milwaukee's first billion-dollar fashion house, Midwest Latina, is a result of a year of brainstorming and planning, and I learned that it's much more than a brand. It's about legacy. Our mom is our mom and our dad, so she did it all. Gabriella Micah Hobbs and Francesca Micah Wagner's mother, Cecilia, immigrated from Peru to the States in the 80s. For her, this is just such a dream come true. These sisters tell me she's the reason they learned they can be 100% American and 100% Peruvian. Oftentimes, lots of Latinas will struggle with is my Spanish good enough? Can I call myself Latina if I'm 50%? That's where I feel like this business was was born embracing both sides. That's where the birth of Midwest Latina comes from, culture and roots. We really said to each other, there is a gap in the market from a design perspective. They decided to create their own brand that makes them feel like they can embrace their Latinidad and celebrate where they come from. Midwest Latina is designed and crafted in the Midwest. The collection includes crew necks, hats, stickers, totes, things these two sisters say they wish they had in their closet. It really is about the fusion of cultura and classic Midwest coming together. They screen print and embroider their clothing right here in Milwaukee, but someday hope to source more fabrics from Peru. And although there's the occasional sibling spat, we're currently in a fight about bows and how to use bows. I bows think I think the, bows are very in. Their overall mission is clear. The reality is we're not known as a fashion hub, so really building this brand to be a fashion house yeah. and drawing attention to the wants, the needs, the likes of customers in this region, specifically Latinas, is really exciting for us. So they sold out their first drop with nearly 100 orders from customers in six different states. They are planning on a new collection for the spring. Right now you can find their current items online only. So there's a link to their online store uh, in this story on the 12 News mobile app.